Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel called Renaissance Muse. It's called Renaissance Muse because I feel like a modern day Renaissance woman. I love to dabble in different things, especially the arts. This is part two of my waterproof paper that I invented. So the paper looks like this after a month. I let it sit out for a while, like a few weeks, but I ended up leaving it for a month. That way like it soaks up the oil. And what I do is I, I don't have tissues, so I use toilet, I'm gonna use toilet paper to dab it out in the extra oil that it has. So I'm dabbing any extra oil it may have so that I can write on it. It's dabbing, it's dabbing it. That way I can write smoothly. Okay, so you see the paper. So I'm gonna write with it a pencil and a, a pen. Then we're gonna test it with water. See here the top one is I put Carmen, my first name, and then pencil, and then I put Carmen and the pen. And we're gonna test it with the water. So I just put water on it, just like a little as you can see, but I'm gonna like roll the water. Rolled it on the tongue part, the pen part did it already, but I'm gonna add this one water and I'll just, so as you can see, I'm putting water on the written part. Oops, I'm drying it up. The pen did seem like a, it's gonna just, it looks. dabbed the paper down but you can see that still like if I obviously um, do it too hard it might like um, what do you call it it might um, run but if you let it out like it's just sitting there and it gets wet you're still your information is still here with pencil and the pen is very light but I believe it's because my pen wasn't writing that well. Anyway, and once it dries, like the information is still gonna be on your paper. So I'll let it dry and then I'll come back again, let you see how it how it um how it is once it dries off because it did get a bit wet. But yeah, that's how I invented waterproof paper when I was in I was around eleven years old and um, like it was just a a thing I came up with when. I wanted to write down ideas and I was in the shower and I never could and I was like it'd be cool if waterproof paper existed and that's how I got my ideas so I hope it helps I hope it's something creative that you want to try at home and um here it is hey guys so I dried my waterproof paper for about a couple hours and it's dry it's just like folded up all crazy because when I was dabbing it I like was folding it too much but anyways other than that right now I touched it and it smeared a little right here um, but, and then the pen, you can, you can't really see it that well. I'm pretty sure it was my pen that wasn't as strong of a pen, but the pencil is definitely on there and this is the back of it. I hope you guys liked the video of the waterproof paper I made when I was younger <laughs> and I hope you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. Thank you and have an awesome day. Bye.